Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on something that I got in the mail today. This is a Dillon XL650 performance upgrades kit. This is manufactured by a guy named Mark Richardson. I got this off of eBay, but uh, it's available pretty much all over the place. Um, I paid about $45 for this, and not a lot of parts here, but what this does is it pretty effectively addresses a very common issue that a lot of guys experience when loading on the Dillon 650, which is that the shell plate uh, has a tendency to rapidly index from one position to the next when you're running the machine. And this results in powder getting thrown all over the place. Now this is especially problematic when you're loading pistol caliber cartridges like 9mm and 45 because you're not really dealing with a lot of case and that doesn't really lend itself to keeping all the powder inside when it's getting thrown around all the time. So what ends up happening is you get it comes up the machine, you get inconsistent powder charges from one round to the next, and it's just an all around bad time. So what's gonna come in this kit are a couple of things. Uh, you'll see you'll get a new follower that engages on the K-Speed RAM. The OEM follower, if I can move this out of the way, it's just basically a pointed tip. This one has a roller bearing, and my oh my is it smooth. You'll also find that you get a washer. This washer is going to sit atop the shell plate, and it's going to engage just underneath the shell plate bolt. But most significantly, if you take the shell plate off, you'll find that you have a detent ball, and a detent ball spring. In this kit, you'll find that the replacement detent ball is of a substantially lower mass than the one that comes from the factory. And likewise, with the detent ball spring, substantially lower power. Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna decrease the amount of energy that's impacted on the shell plate as it indexes from one position to the next, and it's gonna really reduce the amount of that kind of jarring effect that all these rounds experience when they're moving through the machine. It's going to cut down on the amount of powder that gets thrown around and all around uh, should improve and smooth up the function of the machine uh, as a whole. So the installation of this is pretty straightforward. Uh, it shouldn't take me more than five minutes but I'm almost positive that I won't be able to do it while I'm holding an iPhone. So I'm going to set this uh, phone down. I'm going to install these parts and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so I got everything set up. I've got this roller bearing follower, which engages on the K-Speed RAM. I've got the low mass detent ball and the reduced power detent ball spring sitting underneath the shell plate. And I've got this new washer that sits underneath the shell plate bolt. So we're gonna go ahead and load up a few rounds, see how smooth it is. Well, right out of the gate, I can tell you that I'm running the handle quite a bit faster and more aggressively than I normally would for fear of spilling powder. I just really wanted to see if it would work. The shell plate's still moving at a pretty good clip, but I'm not spilling really any powder at all. Actually, any powder at all. In fact, actually, can probably load on this machine now just about as fast as I can get bullets into the casings. This is like loading on a totally different machine. Uh, my machine has never been this smooth, has never not thrown powder around quite like this. Um, I, as a matter of fact, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you were loading on something with a bullet feeder, that if you couldn't just load ammo about as fast as you could run the machine. It's really that big of a difference. Uh, in my opinion, this is probably the best $45 I've invested in reloading, and that's all told with the press and all the components and everything else that I've got invested in this. So this is a this is a great 
modification if you're loading on a Dillon 650, especially for pistol calibers. So I'll be sure to include a link in the description of exactly where I got this. And for 45 bucks, man, you can't beat it. So guys, I hope this was informative. I hope this helped you out. Um, hope it saves you from a couple of headaches and a lot of spilled powder. So take care.